Okay. What are we talking about? The okay. leadership. Um, yeah. I um, I asked you to evaluate um, things <clears throat> of uh, leadership. Oh, okay. Um, sorry. So, what do I have to evaluate based on here? What? What? Are, what, are, what, what? On what basis am I evaluating what? Uh, his structure of uh, the group. Oh, what? That thing that you shared with me uh, earlier? Uh, no, that was my ID of an example of a structure. Okay. All right. So throw something into chat here that I can that I can look at so that I can tell what, what the hell I'm. Okay. Let me. At. Uh... Like what? What exactly am I supposed to evaluate? Um. So I... we are yeah. a nation, not a government, and not a corporation. So I'll just talk to you while I'm doing something. Oh, I um, mean, define that. What do you mean by that? Like, what is what, what? is that? What is that supposed yeah, to be? A, 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 a nation, but not a government, not a corporation. I mean, those things um, are not very. Those things are not very well defined in the in in, in the context of i mean as far as i can tell you're a discord server so uh -huh. so what, what 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 are you what what is your i'd have to evaluate you by your by your your goals your membership mm -hmm. your you know what are you what are you doing what do you plan on doing yeah. so uh you know we want to play a game it, it's a game after all we want to have fun so you know i want to play the game myself i've been a leader my whole life so i figured I'd make my own faction again. You know, like I have been in dozens of games and stuff. So I wanted to create something, be able to play the game. Okay. So with that in mind, gameplay is the whole aspect. I, you know, most of these factions are being role-playing factions. You know, that's not particularly fun where you have to role-play, where you're forced to role-play, where they're forced to do something, dictatorships forcing these people to do something. I wanted to create something that they can choose what to do. I mean... So I'm not going to be forcing ideas on these people. I'm still being creating us organization and leading towards a goal. It's not going to be like a uh, YouTube community. It's not going to be like that where it's, you know, where you just pop in for a ch quick chat or a quick something. It's, we're going to be still all united, all going towards a goal. And, so, you know, that goal is to be, you know, get strong, get, you know, uh, say as small goals, reach a, you know, a big base, uh, or and then a longer term goal be be a good like a be a good sized faction that has quite a lot of power in the game, and I mean main goals you know, <laughs> uh, yeah I do talk a lot so um, you know gameplay uh, most of these factions only let you like speaking of the corporations why we don't want to be like that it's corporations most of them are mining corporations or factories that limits what that person, what those people can do in that faction to programmer, assembly line worker, like make, putting the parts, a person building the actual ship, you know, a person probably running the shop of the sand, the leaders, stuff like that. That limits what they can do in the game. Okay. And well, so if the people... Uh -huh. So you plan on being just a sort of a holistic, more of a... a you, generalization of everything so you're gonna generalize okay so basically why, do everything so all right so for i'm looking at all the factions i'm looking at all the factions mm -hmm. and i'm yeah. looking at uh, the fact that they've got different themes different ideals yeah. you mm -hmm. know um let's say yeah. you know i want to i want to play a, a, a democracy if i really wanted yeah. to do that and i wanted to have voting rights mm -hmm. and maybe i want to yeah. be a senator you know and then, yeah. and, and then, of course, I'd have my relatively open gameplay options from there. But in terms mm -hmm. of the theme of the group, maybe that's what I want. I would go with probably the Republic, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. if, if I wanted to be a generalist, but still mostly focused on industrial kind of things, I might go well, not for... Like just not industrial, like we're, we're doing like everything in the game. That's why we wanted to stray away from being a corporation, because that's, I feel, too little... And that's why, you know, we're playing a game. We want to be able to do everything. So. Okay. So basically a neutral faction kind do you, of thing. Yes. Do, you have a, do you have a plan? Do you have an idea of some of the things you want to try out in the game? Or uh, is it just sort um, of... Well, I mean, we don't want to role play because, you know, that's not particularly fun for everyone. We want to play the game. So 
We want to be able to build a faction that is self-sustaining. We don't need to rely on other players. I mean, we can do trade with other factions and stuff, but we don't want to be a corporation relying on people to buy our ships that we make them and stuff. We want to be able to play the game, and so we are going to have a factory, make our own ships, have jobs, through like sub-jobs and all that, so, you know, the programmer, ship designer, stuff like that. Um, in each of these categories, you know, we have people that are part of the fleet that will be fighting other people, other factions. We have um, the station work, which is the ship designer, and then the factory, which is a whole other thing. All right, all right, all right. Uh, we have I, I minor could, teams. I could come up with lots and lots of examples of all the sorts of things that you can do in the game, but what all mm -hmm. I'm hearing is you're going to do all of it. Yeah. Okay. Don't don't go on listing things. I got it. Yeah. Now 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 listen. Do do you have a do you have a theme? Do you have a theme? Well, so you mean like the, the government theme? You're meaning that as like a theme? Yeah, or or no. anything like what sets you apart? What do you what are you about? Like, do you have any ideals? Do you like? Uh, for one thing, it seems like you've got the ideal of player choice. Players ought to be able mm -hmm. to do whatever the hell they want, right? Yeah. And but do you do you? Do you plan on being more unified in this? Like you want to group, bring the group together and do whole projects as a group? Or do you want yeah. to just sort of cut them loose and let them do their own thing for the most part? I want to do a mix of both because what most people are understanding, you know, people are different. People want don't aren't, aren't machines. We're not going to do the same thing. And so, yeah, that's why I want to keep in mind is you have that choice. Say, so, I'm a fighter. Uh -huh. So where's your focus? Do you, do you have so, a focus? Like what? Again, once again, mm -hmm. depending on my play style, de depending on yeah. what I see myself doing in game, I can look through the faction list and I can yeah. go, hmm. So generally, I want to play PVE and I want to build stuff. Mm -hmm. And there are probably ten different factions. Two or three of them look really good, right? For that, mm -hmm. or. I want a PVP. I want to be part of a yeah. mercenary group because I want to hunt down mm -hmm. pirates and, and shoot them, you know, yeah. and get credits for that. Yeah. Well, there's two or three good mercenary groups. Um, yeah. I don't know them off the top of my head because I don't focus on those, but, but I know mm -hmm. that they exist and I know that people have talked about yeah. forming groups like that. I've talked to people who wanted to form groups like that. All right, all right. Uh, what if I want to be straight up PVP? I want to be pirates. All right, well, it's... I can find a pirate faction quite mm -hmm. easily. Uh, if I want to be more of an idealist, you know, I want to be the good guys. There are three or four groups like that. My group, my group is one of them. Uh, if I want to, you see, right. I can, I can assess myself as a gamer. Mm -hmm. I can look at who I am and what I want to do. And in a sandbox game, of course, there's, there's lots of different aesthetics of gameplay that are served by a sandbox game. There is mm -hmm. competition is served by it. There is uh, exploration, discovery, you know. Um, there is uh, the sort of the problem-solving, uh, engineering kind of stuff, which is fun, you know, nerdy stuff like that. That's a gameplay aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Each of those is a gameplay aesthetic. You know, yeah. uh, just, you know, struggle, challenge, the, the, the struggle to survive, the struggle to, to defeat uh, challenging circumstances. That also is mm -hmm. served by a sandbox game. And you get a different aesthetic out of a sandbox game depending on how you play it, right? Mm -hmm. Good. So let's just say I've got some idea. You know, I've actually got a concept of who I am as a gamer and what kind of mm -hmm. gameplay aesthetics I actually want to experience in the game. Yeah. I got lots of options that would serve my exact like my what i what exactly i want to do right mm -hmm. yeah but so, so well, i wanted to so specifically i guess just like maybe you'd have to bill yourself as the generalist faction that really has got no focus because it sounds to me like like <laughs> well, okay we gotta... so 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 you've got so i i asked you about coming together as a group to do group activities together, right? And you said mm -hmm. you'd like to do that, but you'd also like to be able to cut people loose and let them do their own thing. So the Not like, well, the kind of saying cutting them loose is kind of in a loose term. So, well, I mean, I'm sure right. that you mean like well, still a part of the faction. Fine. They'll I mean, be maybe that's... doing their own thing because it's quite inefficient to have everyone, you know, 
next to each other doing stuff. Well, so they won't be, you know, off like as a actual like their own group. They'll still be with it. It's not like we're gonna be a you know like a senate or thing or like multiple groups together. We're one whole group. But like you know, we have our stuff that we do, and okay. it's quite inefficient to have everyone uh, by each other every time. Okay. Uh, but like our play style, we want to be able to have several play styles because that's what many of these factions lack. You know, the use of PVE, well, PVE would be in ours, I mean, usually is fighting bots or monsters and stuff, not really fighting other players. So the next to that would be uh, mining or uh, like the industrialization. So we have that kind of play style, you know, the people that want to farm, the people that want to build, people that want to fight. And so we want to be able to have a place for everyone besides role play stuff, because that's not particularly my like okay so you don't want to role play mm -hmm. all right so okay um let me let me let me ask this then uh, what's the name of your group phoenix alliance phoenix Which alliance. alliance of people not of groups mm, okay so so the phoenix alliance um mm -hmm. is, is there is there any meaning behind that name aside from it being it's sharing a name with you or or is uh... um well i mean the alliance part i mean an alliance can be uh of people or of groups so i mean strong alliance you know a phoenix it rises from the ashes and can go at it again repeats it never ends never gives up and can always go back to the fight and well, okay. i wanted to create you know gameplay you you don't these role playing factions they don't have a way to stand they get taken out they're crushed you know, I want to play the game and so you know have a the goal to you know become strong and you know many goals strewn throughout that um, and then you know alliance we're alliance of people of people coming together for the same thing same theology whatever or ideal whatever you want to call okay, it okay all right all right all right so so your group the the actual focus of your group um if there is one is on simply being a a tough survivable group right being... well, that's i mean it's along the lines we're, we're we just are strictly doing gameplay so you know uh trying to be a corporation how are you surviving if you can't if you're not even attacking people so All right. i mm. I kind of, uh, kind of screwed myself up, like with the word and all that. Eh, no, no, no. I get it. I, I just uh, okay. See, I can respect that. I, I can I can respect what you're trying to do. You're trying to be a a generalist, which is, I guess, it's fine. But like, do you have any? Do you have a plan? Do you know what you're? Do you know what you're gonna do in the game? Yeah. What are you getting into? What are, what's your? You know, uh, well. If you're going to be doing gameplay, uh, if you're going to be doing gameplay, you know, you got to actually play the game. So we have our structure set up, you know, to do, you know, like you said, play styles. You know, not everyone wants to do all play styles. You know, there's PvP people that are going to want to do PvP. So, you know, we have it set up to where each person can do the play style that they want. So you've got and like united. So, so do you do you have an organizational plan where you've got like divisions of different people who are into... basically like basically in a way like that? Yeah. So like we have our fleet for all the PvP people. Uh, we have the station slash factory or, um, for all the industrialists, programmers, you know, workers like that, and miners. So you know, it's encompass multiple play styles and things in the game to be able to provide the gameplay experience that people are looking for. Okay, um, so is there is there any particular like what is the unifying factor or what is the ideal that you're going for? Is it just that that freedom to make make personal choices? Is that really the is is, is that what should draw me to your group? Well, I mean, like, like that I say, is cause, definitely something because, like I say, you are in competition with many other groups. All those mm -hmm. groups want members. All those groups yeah. want attention and, and some notoriety. They want to be known as the group that does whatever they do. Right? Um, mm. 
you know, do you have goals of a large membership or, or are you happy with who you've got or like, what is the, well, we have, um, 55 people about, and because we're a nation and I mean, I guess that's the best thing that you could name us besides miss cause we're not a corporation, but I mean, you don't need a nation doesn't need a government to be a nation. So, yeah. Um, so I guess the nation would be the best to describe us. Um, uh, we plan on getting to 150 people because, like I said, the divisions, like fleet, you know, the fleet has all the jobs and stuff, and yeah, that I already said earlier and stuff. Uh, you know, th that play style of fighting, PvP. Um, um, so, okay, I, I lost my train of thought. Uh, so, okay, all um, right. I'm I'm looking at your member list here, and it looks like you've got um, mm -hmm. probably about four people who have got roles. No, wait, let's see. You've got about, uh, I can't tell how many people exactly that you ha um, that, that actually have you, roles. Yeah, you need to go up to welcome recruits. Yeah. yeah. To, to see the whole list. Ah, okay, there we go. Uh, so I see 51. All right, so you've got, uh, let's see, a lot of these guys are diplomats. Hmm. Okay. Uh... All right, fair enough. So you got about 50 people, mm -hmm. roughly. Actually, more. Well, like 53. Uh, 53, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Um, but so, like, our play styles, you know, every, you know, people are different. You know, they want to do everything in the game. And, you know, the mercenary, mercenary faction, that can only have people who fight, who do PvP. You know, a corporation can only have people who are industrialists. We have, you know, gameplay. We have you know, anything that you can do in gameplay you can do besides roleplay because they're not the same thing. I mean, I, I guess you can do gameplay and roleplay, but that's, it doesn't work so well. Okay. Um, so um, with our people amount that we want to reach to 225 people, like at least 150 people because uh, we have a full fleet, full like three squadrons for our fleet which is about 20 people. Um, all right, all right. Also, like, with the free choosing um, multiple Okay, no, jobs, no, no, I, I can see that. I can see that. So so yeah. I, I get it. People come in. They can choose what they want to do. They can choose how many mm -hmm. people they want to... Uh, they, they can choose how many people they want to be... Uh, they want to play with and so forth. Mm -hmm. But, um, again, it just kind of seems like you're leaving it wide open, and you're not... I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't quite see why it is that your group would be uh would be attractive to players who've got a certain who've got any particular uh gameplay aesthetic in mind right mm -hmm. I, I except for just that right the freedom of choice which okay yeah. if you're appealing specifically to that then i could see it however i don't mm -hmm. I, I i just see you being generalists you know jacks of all trades and uh what uh, what are you going to be the master of, right? So that's 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 my that would be my biggest criticism in terms of how you've got mm -hmm. the thing structured. Fine. Uh, in terms of your plans, I would think that you should really really tighten up your plans and get something specific. Mm -hmm. yeah, Some... I, I envisioned it would have been a lot easier to establish what I was doing to say like, say it. So you know, right. find the right words. Well, you know. I, I mean, okay, so you've got uh, you've got groups like um, Star Industries and Skyjack Industries mm -hmm. and these other industrial yeah. groups, and a lot of them have got the idea of making the best X, you know, whatever it is, right? Or mm -hmm. being the best yeah. at whatever, right? Yeah. You know, you got the PvP factions who want to control the most space or be the most be the toughest and have the most kills or whatever, right? They've got a clear mm -hmm. goal in mind and the players sign on to that goal because that's what they want to contribute towards. You know, they want to they want mm -hmm. to have the feather in their cap of being that group. You know, like I played EVE Online for a little while and there was a group called uh, mm -hmm. Agony Unleashed. And what they were all about was training the best pilots. Yeah, mm -hmm. I saw them. Yeah. They actually tried to recruit me. <laughs> Yeah, I I paid them I paid them money I paid them in game money a ton of it so that they could they would train me and I didn't regret it they uh, I I got a lot out of it right but that was their mm -hmm. goal and I signed up for it because that goal appealed to me and I was actually willing to give them 
you know, in-game credits. I gave them millions yeah. of credits to take their classes because I wanted to, because mm -hmm. I wanted that. They were offering something that I wanted, right? So mm -hmm. what are, it's sort of like if you're, if you're a group and you are, you're trying to get members, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get members to invest. You're trying to get them to invest their, their, their time and effort and loyalty and so forth, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're doing that, you know, if, if, if they're going to be spending their time and their effort on you, what are you giving them in return? Like, what are they getting out of the deal? Right. And if all you're, if what they're getting is, you know, power of choice, basically, and a wide range of options. And, you know, you can swap from one gameplay aesthetic to the, to the next, if you want, you want to play from mm -hmm. many different play styles, all in the same group. I guess, I guess I could maybe see that. But well, since we are striving for gameplay, you know, you can't be having fun yeah, in the game. That's, you know, that's certain just... games, like, if you suck at it, it's not so fun. So I guess with how you said, uh, said the mercenary factions, they want to be the best fighters. They want to control a lot. So with everything that we have, I guess you could say that we want to be the best at it. You know, gameplay is supposed to be fun. So if you die a lot, so you want to th that's not particularly just... fun. Yeah. Okay, no. I'm sorry. You're gonna need to focus that down to something, and you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to come up with some better definition of what you're actually offering your members. I, so I striving to have the best at what we do. That, but but what you do is everything. So you generalize. So you want to be the best generalist. So we do better. Do better uh, everything then. Okay. I mean, uh, I guess I could see it. I don't know. Um, based on that billing, I mean, I, I don't see like for me as a. As a player, if I were shopping mm -hmm. for a faction, I don't see what I be what I would be getting from your faction, and I also don't see really what you would be asking for from me. Like what, what, uh, what is the what? What's the character of 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 one of your members? What are they supposed to be like? You know, what, what are they what are they supposed to be doing for you other than just playing on your side? Is that is that it? Are you, is that all you're asking for? Or, or like, uh, you know, okay. All right. Example, example. We talk about the Harbor men, right? We talk about my mm -hmm. group. All right. And you know what? It's not a perfect group by any means. There is, there is a lot that I could be doing to be doing a better job of offering, you know, uh, uh, offering more gameplay opportunities and things to my group. And actually that's something I want to, mm -hmm. you know, I, I <laughs> One of the things that's nice about criticizing other people's groups is I, um, I, I get an opportunity to sort of examine my own group and the mistakes that I'm making. Mm -hmm. So I can tell you right up, uh, there, there are things I could be doing better. But, but here, right, what do I offer my, my members? I give them an ideal, right? I give them a code mm -hmm. of, of, of ethics, right? The code of the harbor men. I don't know if you've read it before, but it's, it, it has to do with basically it's a, it's a code having to do with how to be a good sportsman how to be an mm -hmm. honorable player, right? And, uh, and and I and what I do is I attract other people who have similar ideas that, you know, a player mm -hmm. ought to be ought to be a good sportsman, ought to be uh, ought to not cheat, ought to strive to be better, right? That kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. what I offer is a community where people can practice those values and can strive to be better without being judged for not being there yet, right? We're all mm -hmm. we're all about taking your Care Bear guy who is wants to be a good guy, but also wants to be effective, and you know, giving him claws and getting him better at uh, being able to fight back and be good PvPers. That's that's mm -hmm. what my group is about, right? So I can tell you, I can give you sort of an elevator pitch of what the Harbormen are, right? And I can say who we are, mm -hmm. or I can just quote the quote code. That's actually one of our most effective recruitment techniques here's the code of the harborman you agree with this all right good come join up and i get members that way right because mm -hmm. they see that i'm offering something i'm offering something at very least i'm offering them an ideal you know something yeah. to measure themselves against right so so uh and, and yeah i could be offering them more and i planned on on, on doing that i want to i want to give them something else but but it's it's a clear idea of what the character of the group is right they've got a clear mm -hmm. idea of how we plan to play or at least what we plan not to do we don't plan to be assholes right, mm -hmm. right? Well, i guess i got that i, I guess i got so, a lot more of 
than what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm not finding the words to voice what I, I've got most of what you're talking about. Like, I've got most of un understanding of it and have most of it here. I'm just not like, it, okay. uh, like, I'm not pulling the words together. So. Fair enough. You know what? Take your time on that. What I would recommend you do is you figure out mm. what it is that you are offering to your players, mm -hmm. right? What it is that you want from them and what are your, what are you giving them in exchange? Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and what direction are you going? Right. Maybe you're going mm -hmm. multiple directions. Well, you're going to want to count up those directions and give your group some measure of focus. Right. Or, or if failing that maybe a theme just for the fun of it. Right. Because those are at least fun. And, and, and then, and then write it down somewhere you know, concisely, you know, get it down. What's our goal? Who are we? What are we going to do in the game? You know, here's what you're going to get out of, here's the gameplay aesthetics you can expect are going to be satisfied be, be, by being part of this group, right? Do you want to dominate or do you want to, do you want to explore and discover? Uh, do you want to, you want to thrill, you know, we had a we had a group that I don't know if they actually ended up doing anything. We had a group called Red Line and in, in Worlds Adrift. And it was unfortunate. Like they kind of fell apart because uh, a lot of the guys didn't end up actually buying the game. It was ridiculous mm -hmm. how these groups can can seem so good and then just kind of fall apart on you. But uh, but their whole thing was to be ace pilots. They were going to be the best pilots, and they were going to they were going to do stunts and participate in races and things like that. And and that was their whole shtick. They were going to be ace pilots and show off and make YouTube videos and things like that. Do you see that? Uh, personally, if I was shopping for a group and I saw yours, I. I don't know. I, I wouldn't be able to tell what I was supposed to mm -hmm. get out of it just from what you've got posted so far. I'm looking in your in your mm -hmm. Discord channel and I don't see I don't see anything in your Discord about who you are. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, so um I mean like I I wanted to provide a place. So that's like our goal is to ultimately create a place for us in the universe. And so that's that will take being the best, you know, that will take being great at it. So, I mean, I, I still got like still more of what you're saying. So just, right. uh, well, you know, well, I've been trying to find the yeah. words. to. Uh, say I'm not going to say so. that your group, you've obviously, or you've, you've managed to pull together about 50 members. Good. You got a base. You got mm -hmm. something to start this with. This was in about three days. So we plan on getting more eventually. Well, that's soon. amazing. Now, now give them a direction. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> you know, give me some idea of where you're going with this, because I don't see it. I don't see where. I don't see why I would join that group. I don't know how you got that many members in three days. I, mean, I guess it's harder for me to establish it to a more theatrical view, like to a more. I mean, I guess you're more understanding, but you're more picking it apart. So it's like, I don't know, like kind of kind of harder to do than well, you know, because I'm not having to give the whole spiel to someone because they're just you know looking for what they're looking for and huh. stuff and so all right well I guess it's kind of harder to put it all together all right all right well fair enough i mean if you uh if you've got something in mind if you've got mm -hmm. uh if you've got some idea in mind and you, you, you there's there's something somewhere that get that uh i would say write it down and put it front and center mm -hmm. where can you post in here can you post in this channel uh your your recruitment uh, material? Like, what are you using to pull people in? Well, that... It, uh, I've gained the sk that skill through various means, so it kind of, like, changes on the person. Now, I'm not, like, saying, like... I'm not changing what our faction is, like, saying just to get them to join. Like, I'm not saying, like, oh, yeah, we're this to this person, and, oh, yeah, we're this to this person. Uh, no, I just, like, everyone's different, so, you know... Um, I mean, it matters... I guess that's not really needed to say because, you know, some people are, are are too, don't like it if you're too rude, which, I mean, obviously I'm not going to be rude, but, like, I guess that's uh, recruitment talk. But, right. um, I don't know, like, I, I establish what we're about. I establish what they can do here, what we're looking for, our goal, our ideal and stuff, you know. Okay. I establish everything that they need to know and stuff. All right. Well, that, fair enough.
Well, if you could do that, I mean, we all a... I make sure that we all understand what we're doing. I'm I'm trying I, I'm making sure that everyone's on same topic. And so that's what I'm doing. Like I'm making sure that all the squad leaders are on on the topic and know how and know what we're exactly doing and uh okay. and all the members as well. Well, so, okay. So so it's not far, like, like we it's not like I just got them in and you know, just got them here and they're sit, sitting here. They, they all they all know what we're doing. They all know the objective and all okay. know the, what we're doing. Okay. Well, I mean, if you've got your guys on board and they're willing to do whatever they're doing, uh, then mm. I guess that's fine. I, I mean, I, I guess just, our goal is to be like a better place than I, I'm, most I'm, others. I see all these other factions and but, you know, you, you know, you corporations. Gotta, they're not going to work in the game. Like not, most of them aren't going to be able to fully work because you know, unless they're big enough, they're not going to be able to appeal to enough people to buy their ships. So, you know, I want to be able to create something that can stand. That can, you know, as I've said, gameplay. You know, if you if you if your faction <laughs> dies, how are you supposed to play the game? So, so you're yeah, gonna, I mean, like, you're gonna, like organized faction. You're gonna throw you're gonna throw uh, gameplay styles at the wall and see what sticks. <laughs> I mean, you know, if that's what you're gonna not do, necessarily. It's... <laughs> <laughs> not, not just throwing them at the wall. All right. I mean, all right. I mean, th that wouldn't be a terrible idea. You know, <laughs> hey, we're going to try some things out. We're going to experiment. We're just going to do whatever we have to to survive as a group. Uh, whatever we do, we're going to grit our teeth and we're going to survive. We're going to make it as a group. Are you on board? Let's just try this. See what we can do. We'll, we'll, we'll do so. We'll figure something out. You know, sort of the firefly sort of thing. You know, we're a crew. We do whatever job comes our way. You know, come on. You want you want work? You want to do something? We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll get something. We'll keep on flying somehow. Can't take the sky from me. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, I'm just looking at. Uh, this is just like aside from my fact. I mean, okay. kind of talking about my faction, but like this is aside from the evaluation. You know, I've, I'm taking a look at like dozens of other factions and stuff, seeing like, seeing like what they're about. You know, in uh, the different factions. I mean, if you're a mercenary group, your organization isn't going to be the same as a a factory group. You know. Well. So that's understandable. But well, yeah, I've worked into these yeah. discords, and uh, most of them aren't too greatly organized. Like, there's a point which you have to reach is you don't want too much organization, and you don't want too little. And it also matters what kind of group you are, too, because, you know, if you are a factory, you're not going to have, you know, organization of, you know, a military and stuff. So I made sure to take that into account in my own evaluation of these groups. Like, uh, they're just not, like, that great setup, like... Is like you know SJI. Um, you know, right now they well, have just tons of stuff open for playing <laughs> different games. You know, they have just tons. Uh, their whole Discord list is just completely flooded with other stuff, Starbase, non-Starbase related. Okay, so so at least you got that focus. You're a Starbase group. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, mine isn't. We're a multi-game community, so I guess you got. Yeah. Uh, I got. I guess you got that one over us. <laughs> <laughs> all right well fine um i that's i've given you my criticisms i i i, th I think you mm -hmm. understood so uh we'll we'll leave it at that yeah. uh by the way i I did record this talk so um mm -hmm. if with i'm your... kind of glad you did i mean i do want to um i do want to evaluate myself i, I want to be able to make my group better i want to be able to do uh, good in the game so i i'm glad that i had this criticism and i wanted it i'm glad you finally did this interview I was <laughs> all right i, I envisioned it was going to go a lot smoother in my head well this guy it, uh, it didn't go so smooth this guy uh Dreyfar, he he he, mm -hmm. he he bugged me over and over for, for <laughs> he's, he's been he's been bugging me for days now and i, I finally <laughs> You finally caught me at a time when I could actually interview you. All right, good. Well, I'll put this up on YouTube then, and we'll see what uh, we'll see what the commenters think. I would actually yeah. be I would actually be very interested in uh, whatever other feedback anybody's got. Um, mm -hmm. But the, there you go. You've gotten my criticisms. Hopefully, that's useful to you. So, yes. I mean, SGI, they're they're still quite they're like the most done. I haven't even for I that. Haven't, I haven't looked in on on SGII. It's actually run by one yeah, of my members. Funny enough. <laughs> who is a yeah, good guy he's well done factory but it's just like i, I don't want to be like on other game oh, subjects right. well you know, there worrying we go about other games you, you heard it her, here first if you're interested in being an industrialist uh skyjack industries is your best choice uh according mm -hmm. to phoenix of fury 
Is, is that how you say your yeah, name? It is. Yes, Phoenix of Fury. Phoenix uh, of Fury. Okay, someone right said on. it. Phoenix OP Hurry. <laughs> I'll I'll be I'll admit it's a little I, I pause every time I try to type your name. <laughs> All right, well that's it for that then. End of video.